Greetings. Mardana Elegan. Yes. I'm just on a video recording binge or something. <laughs> I'm just, I guess this is just my day of relaxation. Who knows? But I'm having fun making these videos. <laughs> I look a lot better than I thought I would, right? I don't know. Shoot. At least I think I look a lot better than I thought I was going to look. Who knows? Anyway, um, I had a good topic to talk about. But Lord knows I know it's because I got off of work because let me tell you, I forgot what I wanted to talk about. What is up with me today? I, you know, today I was so tired. I was weak, but I, I've had, I had a month from hell. I mean, hell. You hear me? I mean, it was blessing. It was definitely a blessing for the most part, but the other part, Lord help me. It was emotionally with uh unbearable part of it um the other part was um very enlightening and a great experience like i was telling you all before in my previous videos that i'm a curvy model and i've been doing fashion shows for this um this well i should say now this past month because now it's august and my um other show is gonna be uh, next, no, not next, it's this Saturday. So I'm very excited, you know. I'm learning as I go. Oof, I'm learning. <laughs> anyway, oh Lord, what did I want to talk about? Um, I believe I wanted to talk about, um, darn, it had to do with something about relationships. Oh, I remember baggage. I wanted to talk about baggage. And, um, get your um, opinion about how I see things. Just have an open mind about what I'm about to say. You know, people say they don't want a person with baggage. Hell no. I mean, yeah, definitely. You know, especially those, you know, when people don't have children and they're looking for a relationship, they don't want a person that has children. Some do, but a lot of times, at least in my life, including myself, I didn't want to deal with the person that had children. Like, if I don't have kids, what do I want with someone that has children? No. I mean, no, 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 no. But then, I mean, I talked to my my best friend, which happens to be my sister. I'm so privileged to for her and I to share the same blood. She's my best friend, as you can tell. Um, me and her had talked and then a very deep close friend of mine had this conversation about, you know, dating and like, man, at our age, you know, we're in our early thirties and golly at our age, you know, you're going to definitely find people that mostly have children. So, you know, you're going to have to bend the rules a little bit, but then hell, I've been recently running into a lot of, um, eligible bachelors that, um, that don't have children. And you know that's very, very rare. But I've been running into quite a few and I'm like, hey, okay, well, I guess I'm not the only one that doesn't have children. So that's, that's an up and up. Anyway, baggage can be children of a... I hate to say it this way because it's just so wrong for me to say it this way. But you know, to some people, um, a person having children could be their baggage. I have to swing it back into the topic that I want to talk about. Previous relationships, breakups, previous breakups can be a someone's um, baggage. And you know, like how I love Erica Badu. Bag a lady. You know, she talked about it as well. You know, so there's different ways, different um, things that we carry as baggage. We all have it. So my opinion on it is, with regards to previous relationship baggage, is it really that all the way bad? You know, I've ran into gentlemen that um, that has never been in love. And that scares me, terrifies me. Because if you've never surrendered your heart to someone Why not? First question. Number two is, 
if you've never surrendered before, do I even have a chance? Yes, we are all different. And, and yes, I definitely consider myself to be very unique. And, um, and I mean, I'm telling you, I come from a queen. Let me tell you, I come from a beautiful queen, a beautiful spiritual woman. That's my mother. And I know I was raised unique. But still, people's perceptions and how society um, is and how people succumbs to society and the way they think. And I mean, we all know that relationships are in commitment and marriage is looked at, looks so down upon. So when you have all that rolled up into one, that's baggage. Definitely that's baggage. So a person that's never been in love before, that scares me. And the way people, if you've never been in love, you never surrendered. And basically, what type of chance do I have? Yes, I'm different, but do you see me as different? You know, I don't know. Um, so if you've never been in love, that scares me. To me, that's another sort of baggage, believe it or not. I really feel that way. Those that have been in love before and that's their baggage. Flip side of that, you know, definitely people say, oh gosh, don't want that. But then again, you don't know what happened in this situation. And has that person tried to move on? You can possibly look at even that as being positive because at least they were willing to surrender themselves to that other person and then they ended up getting hurt. You know, can you look at a person with that type of baggage as being a positive thing? So let me know what you think. I know it's very strange, a strange question, but seriously, maybe think baggage and what types of baggage is out there. Okay, so let me know what you think. And again, like I said, keep it keep it respectful, please. I, I urge you all to be, please be respectful, you know. This is about grown folk talk, you know, and I value you all and your comments. I honor that very much and I terribly appreciate it. So let's keep it grown and adult and respectful, please. All right, love and light.